guys, it's Riella and welcome back to another video. Today we are in, in Creator Sim, just after the new patch update to The Sims. Um, let me tell you, probably one of the best patch updates we've had so far, because it's super inclusive now with the new Muslim clothing and architecture, but also we got customizable stairs. Hallelujah, something we've all wanted for a long time I would say, but we got it and I'm pretty sure it's a lot better than any of us were expecting. Um, you won't be seeing it in this video, but I am sure most of you have seen it by now. You can make the stairs any height you want. You can change them left, right as many times as you want. It's so awesome. I cannot wait to get in and play around with it and see what kind of things we can create. But for today, this video is all focused on this sim. And you will see it towards the end of the video. Her name is Alaya Basha. I'm not sure if that's exactly how you pronounce it, but in my accent, that's how I would say it. Um, I did do some research on what to do style-wise and name-wise because I didn't obviously want to offend anybody. Um, I've never made a sim with a hijab before, so I did Google names that are commonly used with Muslim people. I was going to say Muslim sims. <laughs> people in this world are not sims, they are regular people. <laughs> and I also looked up clothing because I was going to give her these jeans which were kind of cropped above the ankle but I wasn't sure if that was allowed. I was going to give her open toe shoes of course I wasn't sure if that was allowed either and I was kind of scared to do this video because I don't want to offend anybody and I don't want to act like I don't know what I'm talking about if that makes sense. So after looking into it she does have long trousers which covers right basically covers her foot as well and I did give some shoes which are closed toe because I'm just trying to go with sort of what people in that who who are this religion and they follow every day I didn't want to break any of their rules if that makes sense so without trying to offend I did the best I could um, so yeah I went for the pink one because I thought it really complemented her skin tone and I find my sims are not always super colorful and I wanted to do something nice so as you can see these are the jeans I started out with and I was like mm, I'm not sure about those so if there's a little break in the video where it's just kind of like me doing nothing for a few seconds that's because I'm googling like <laughs> like clothing ideas and like things that they can and can't wear um like right now <laughs> I would think I was looking up if they can wear closed toe shoes or not um I did still try to put the closed toe here and then I was like no this is just not right so yeah I figured out in the end what they should wear and what I wanted her to wear the denim jacket is the same as what came with the patch update that's connected to the skirt but this is custom content because I wanted it to be not connected to the skirt and I just really liked how the hijab uh, matched the pink flowers in the top part. I thought it was super cute. These jeans is ultimately what I did decide to go for. I thought they were super cool and shoes, it does take me a while to pick up a pair of shoes so we'll just ignore that. Uh, but yes, this is Alaya Basha and she is... I, in my head, this is the story I came up with, is that she is a fashion student and um, she's super into fashion, she's super outgoing, uh, she lives in the city, she lives in San Machino of course, um, she's just incredibly fashionable, hence this outfit, I thought it was super cool, the denim jacket with the flare jeans, she's bringing back a style, <laughs> and that's just who she is, she's a vegetarian as well, um, but mostly she, we f I focused on her being outgoing, and she's sort of like into music and she's in fashion school. I feel like I'm repeating myself now, but you'll see when I pick her traits, that's um, the sim she is. And thankfully, I don't know what fixed it, if it's the update or if it's just my PC's updates or whatever. But when I was recording little clips at the end for her, there was no lag and I'm so happy about that. But yeah, um, this part is just me picking her traits and of course Googling <laughs> names that would work. <laughs> and thinking about what type of sim I wanted her to be. But um, we are gonna come up to the end of the creator sim soon. I'm popping into the little short clips. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't offend anybody. I really tried not to. Um, but yeah, I will see you next video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and even subscribe if you wanna see more. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.